step. Everybody was doing it, so I thought I was supposed to. Think she'll teach the new guy what to do? We kept the cameras rolling as more unsuspecting patients arrived. And slowly but surely, what began as a random rule for this woman has now become the social norm for everyone in this waiting room. Here to explain what's going on in their brains is Jonah Berger of the University of Pennsylvania. This sort of internalized form of herd behavior is part of what we call social learning. Starting at a very early age, when we see members of our group perform a task, our brains literally reward us for following in their footsteps. When I saw everybody stand up, I felt like I needed to join them. Otherwise, I'm like excluded. Once I decided to go with it, then I felt much more comfortable. Conformity is how we become socialized, but it can also cause us to develop bad habits or repeat past wrongs. And it's why even this rebel, who wasn't standing for any of this nonsense, eventually joined the ranks. And the only thing more shocking than seeing how easily conformity affects the way you act is that similar forces are subconsciously shaping the way you think right now. Want to see what we mean? Meet Max. Max is 25 years old and has a college degree. Now, meet Paul. Paul is also 25, and he too graduated college. So here's the question. Which of these two do you think has a better job and earns more money, Max or Paul? Have you made your choice? Did you pick Paul? It turns out most people do, but why? After all, what little information you know about them is exactly the same. Or is it? Let's see them side by side. Now, there's a pretty obvious difference. But unless we're talking about basketball, what does height have to do with better jobs and money? Max here earns more as an accountant than Paul does as a waiter. But your brain may have jumped to the incorrect conclusion based on the fact that Paul is taller. Something you may have subtly clued in on when we showed you each of them standing next to this mailbox. This phenomenon, discovered by psychologist Edward Thorndike, is known as the halo effect. The halo effect is a cognitive bias in which your brain allows specific positive traits to positively influence your overall evaluation of a person. We see that today with celebrities or athletes, where we assume because someone is in amazing physical condition or very good looking, they must also be smart, kind, or generous. Which is all to say that from a very young age, your brain conforms to the group's biased opinion of what traits make a good leader. But could the halo effect really trick your brain into trusting someone that merely looks like a leader? You're about to find out in this next game. So I'm passionate about technology because I believe technology is an extension of human creativity. Today, our host, Jason Silva, is giving a free talk at a local university. Here's the amazing thing about technology. But pay attention, because while these people think they're here to see Jason give a presentation on technology, technology evolves exponentially. They're actually the subjects of a social experiment, and you're about to see how far these people will go just to fit in with a crowd. The smartphone that you guys have in your pocket is actually a million times cheaper, a million times smaller, and a thousand times more powerful than what used to be $60 million in half a building 40 years ago. So far, the crowd seems to be following the speech. So I want to switch gears for a minute and talk about something I think is really mind-blowing as well. Have you guys ever stopped to think just about how a thought is an idea caught in the fangs of consciousness? Huh? Which is why you can put cats in hats, but not hats in cats.